What's going on, Flash Fam? AJ here with you, and it's some flabbergasting news. It's just nothing that we want to hear, but uh, The Athletic and Felipe Cardenas has reported that Jose Martinez has told the Atlanta United front office that 2021 will be his last with the team. He does have a contract with LA United until 2023, but things have soured so badly with new head coach Gabriel Hainsey that it seems like he cannot deal with this anymore. And essentially, it seems to have soured because of the intense training sessions that pretty much have no breaks uh, throughout the week. Essentially, there are very, very few rest days for the players and after coming off of ACL rehabilitation, he, I think within his rights, is uh, wanting to protect not only himself, but his fellow players from what seems like self-inflicted injury. Emerson Hyndman gets an ACL tear through training session. Franco Ibarra, hamstring. There's a lot of soft tissue injuries that are probably a, uh, a symptom of overtraining. Of course, we kind of saw this a little bit with Tata Martino, but it's different when you're winning or when you're part of a new project that's quite exciting. But the issue is here is that we aren't. We're definitely having very, very poor results. And ergo, Jose Martinez reportedly is saying it's between Hainse or Joseph. There's some likes on some tweets that were a little questionable as well. There was a tweet in Spanish that pretty much said to Joseph that you should go. The hierarchy in LA United, you have, I'm paraphrasing here, you have a clout here and basically you can push your weight around. Hainse will be forced to go if you push your weight around. Now, will this happen? We'll find out. But either way, it is a terrible time at the club right now. Lots of turmoil. I mean, even Parky tweeting what he said was not very cryptic, but a heart emoji in a tweet of him hugging Jose Martinez after the MLS Cup final. It's definitely, it's a little bit strange. And then Jose Martinez also tweets underneath that, but you're always my captain. And it's just, of all what's going on already throughout the season, with the endless draws that we always get, the numerous injuries, poor form all together, no wins since May. Right now, it's a Saturday before the New England Revolution match, and I have to say, yeah, we need to send a message to the front office, to the club, that this is not acceptable. The front office, Carlos Bocanegra, big glaring hot seat that he's got as much as we all love Darren Eels this is on him as well in a short span of five years we've gone from the team that pretty much all of MLS models itself after after we won the MLS Cup in year two to now pretty much a laughing stock this is horrendous from the people in charge. I mean, Carlos Bocanegra has half a year on his contract. I can't imagine he is going to be considered to continue on. But either way, there needs to be more done to fix up this situation because it is dire. And hopefully, Hainse and Joseph can repair their very icy relationship right now. But guys, let us know what you are thinking in the comments below. This is... A lot to take in, obviously. I'm not even scratching the surface on really all of this, but yeah, what do you think of the reports? What do you think of all that's been said? Pretty much, Jose Martinez not probably playing anytime soon until they fix these issues between them because it's not fitness related. It's something between the coach and your star player who has murals in the city, who has calls for the statue to be built for him this this is a shambles guys but guys let us know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching remember to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video